Welcome back to Momir. I am Jimmy Joe. I've been playing this so much and losing so hard. The RNG is just not good for me. It's been a couple of good ones. And you've seen some of them, but we still haven't broken that three win uh, record. I want to I want to get more than three wins. Last turn. Don't have green, so we're just gonna... Actually, no. I want that incubation druid. I really do. I've never gotten it. Alright. Well, that's not what I thought it was, but... We now have a green source on top. Wild growth locker. Fell in a turn, Sentinel Guardian can lose Defender and gains flying. <laughs> okay. Probably never paying that. <laughs> Although it is a 3-3 flyer for 3 every turn. Maybe I should just try to make like only 4 drops and see if I can get Tesa or the other one. Maybe we'll just do that. We'll just continue to make 4 drops. Oh, Aurelia. See, look, another good four drop. There's so many really good four drops. Is it going to first strike? No. Well, that dies. We're going to drop this and make a four drop. <laughs> He's going to be like, what? I don't understand. Traxos. <laughs> no. <laughs> Traxos. <laughs> What is wrong with this game? Oh my god. <sighs> Haunt of Hightower. If any player discards a card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. I don't know if I can live long enough for that to matter. Because he's going to be discarding cards. Whenever... Oh, a card is put into a graveyard from anywhere. That's 4-4. Four, four. Yep. I'm not going to block that. And it works for mine too, I believe. Six seven. Hopefully it's not Tashana. That works. Um no text. <coughs> Opponent's graveyard. So it doesn't work for our graveyard, unfortunately. Five five. Yep. I will block this. Thank you very much. Let's go for seven. Again. Thornwood Elemental. All right, not too bad. Well, we lose a life.
Go for more sevens. Flood the board until we can't do anything anymore. Attack with a seven seven. Um, no, we'll get rid of that. That scuttle gator is going to become a nine nine though. Yes. Yes. Um, I would like to, no, no attacks. I'll sacrifice another non-token creature. That's, that's unfortunate. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do this. Now we can make an eight. No attacks. I think we might actually win this. Oh no. Eight, nine. If he drops the land. Okay, he doesn't drop the land. If he ever gets up to 10, I'm in trouble. Um. Let me drop the land. I'll swing in with a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh no, I forgot he had an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oops. That probably cost me the game. Eight, nine, ten. No, that's not ten. Nine. Anything good on nine? Zakama's good on nine. Let's try for a nine. Molder Hulk. I can, that means I can get a ten. I need something to block this seven five that it really is going to buff. I can start safely attacking in with that, except he won't be able to attack back. Alright, we're gonna do this and this. And now we can go for a 10. Keep making tens. I think we win. It's gonna start throwing things under the bus. There's a one one. Gate Colossus, that's fine. Not gonna attack with anything. Yes! He realizes it's over. Oh man. I thought we were done for. That haunt, the haunt of Hightower, it, it got us. It saved us forever.
The thing is, if he ever realized that he could just drop a land and then wait till next turn, um, he could start dropping the 16 16s as well. Shut up! Birds are loud. Birds are loud. Birds are loud, but I like the birds. They're cute. They're adorable. But they can be a pain in the butt sometimes. What are we waiting for? Maybe he's AFK and we'll get a free win. Not that that's really interesting to watch, but... Nope, he's there. Okay. But I like money, so, I mean... If he wasn't there, then I wouldn't... I, I would be able to get free money. Look at that one drop. There's a one... Two... Sanctuary Cat. I read that at first as Stray Cat. I think there is a card called Stray Cat, but... We will make it two, because I want Incubation Druid. That's not an Incubation Druid. But, I'll take it, because it'll block the Stray Cat, and it'll become a two-two. If you control Vraska, you gain life equal to Vraska's power. Attendant of Vraska's power. Three drop. Going for three drop. Pegasus Courser, that's cool. That's a flyer that makes other flyers. Pegasus is like, hey man, get on my back and we'll attack together. And the other guy's just like, okay, if I have to. Just like this guy. He's just like, I'm doomed. Oh, Haunt of Hightower. Bell, or not, not, no. Haunt of Hightower was amazing. This is, eh. Gonna block this. No, we're gonna block this and take one. I'm gonna get two two. And then we're gonna make a four. Dang it! I hate when that happens. <laughs> I can't race, so I will just attack with the one. Probably gonna attack with everything. All right, flying first strike three three. Oh, we're gonna get rid of this. I guess we have to go for a five so we can block something. I don't like to go for fives, but it's not terrible. But that is a flying first strike, so I can't attack into it. When I have a sending or city's blessing, put a one one counter on it if another creature I control dies. I'm gonna block this. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'll block both, but I'd rather just kill it. I don't know why I chose to kill the zombie, but. Maybe he read it and didn't realize that I. Oh. Alright. That's a that's a game over. 
Game over. Sure. I still lose to the 5-5. Five 5-5 five. Five five has to be blocked by a Pegasus Corsair. This can kill this. This can kill this. And then this will chump this the next turn. Oh, this will actually die because of this. Yep. This jumps this, this jumps this. And that first strikes. So... I can't really do anything. Wrecking Beast blocks something, but I still lose. Come on, I want to get more than just two or three wins. Maybe I should skip the first two. Like, not make a one drop, not make a two drop. Get a three, four, and then six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. So drop the one, replace it. So I'll have two, I'll have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I skip 5, I can also get 10 on curve. It's not a bad 3 drop. As you control another dinosaur, it gets plus two, plus O, oh, and trample. Well, it's a blocker for this thing. Is it lagging? There we go. Oh no, he had a riot creature. Oh. That's unfortunate. So if we skip five, then we'll have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We will be taking six, but killing this. Assuming he attacks. Okay. Well, that gets rid of our plan in the air.
Okay, he doesn't attack. Maybe he wants to use it in the air. So now we can go on curve for 6 all the way up to 10. Nice. That's good. Get rid of that. Alright. Looks like the luck is starting to change. RNG is a little... RNG is a fickle maiden. <laughs> ah, I'm getting a call. Hello? Nope. Well, that's just gonna do stuff. That's gonna exile things in the graveyard. Yep, I know. I'm just gonna block this and take six. I was well aware that I was gonna take six. Seven. That blocks the Itali. And that's six in the air, so we're doing pretty good. Don't ever click on Nezahal when he's a token. Because you'll discard three lands and exile him. And because he's not a card, he won't come back. Ability hashtag zero. Or for you older folks, ability pound sign zero. I'm an old folk. No, <laughs> why do people get so lucky? It's okay. I think we still race. Okay. That's fine. We would have won next turn if he didn't get rid of that. So that's fair. That's a bad idea. Because you don't get the you don't get the things. Pass. Make sure we don't click on that. Block the Itali. Okay. My turn. And that is eight. Zatalpa wins it. Oops, that's not what I meant. I meant good game. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's the strategy for uh, this Momir is to skip one, two, and then make three, four. Six, seven, eight. That sounds good. Incubation Druid is nice, but I don't know. I'd rather rely on my mana base rather than a mana dork. Although mana dorks can be very helpful. There was one game where I got uh, a Wayfinder Scout, something like that, where it lets you tap it to put a land into play, and I got up to six on turn five <laughs> or i got to six on turn four because it was a it was a two drop so my turn three was a four drop and my turn four was a six drop <laughs> and then i had a seven drop on turn five needless to say when you get the bigger creatures you win faster Okay, he's going to skip two. He's not going to skip two. He is going to skip two. We are going to skip two. 
There is a sweet two drop that is a 2-1 flyer that turns a uh, creature a defending player has into a 0-1. And that was super useful. But, again, the payoff for the lower creatures is not very good. So we have three, next turn we have four, skip five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that sounds good. Unless we have to desperately put something out in front of something, but... We might win him timing out. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's got a poop. Everybody poops. Just a matter of when it hits you. Alright, so he passes. We're going to make a 4 drop and attack for 3. That doesn't do anything. Because it deals damage to target creature. That would have been nice if he had one creature out that was that had one power or one toughness. It's not bad. He can adapt it next turn. Swing in. At this point, if he doesn't block, we are in a very good position to race. Even though this becomes a 5-5, because he's going to attack with it. And by my calculations, 5 is less than 7. I'd say those are pretty good calculations. Does not adapt. It chooses to get a mammoth spider. The skitterer will get in for three. All right, so we are now on the drop everything every turn plan. Five five tramples, not bad. It's not bad at all. We probably, yeah, we'll, we'll race. We'll get in at least three damage. He's going to block the 4-2. Put him to seven. Got a 5-5 five, five trampler that will either kill the spider or, you know, whatever. He's probably going to get something with a bigger power and toughness next turn anyway. But we gotta we got to get in while we can. Got a good blocker. I don't mind trading the 5-5 five five for the adapt creature. He's not going to adapt. He's got a 3-6. Comes with a 1-1. One one. I'm not going to be able to attack through that. See, like I said, got to attack when we can. And then we got 7. Bam. Palaka Worm. Awesome. No attacks. That Palaka Worm's going to attack next turn, though. And he will have to throw three things under it to kill it. So that's a pretty good Palaka Worm. Well, based on what he puts down now, he might just adapt. And he does. He wants that sweet blockage. Four drop. Whenever and start attacks, he deals one damage to any target. Okay. And you're not gonna attack with anything, are you?
Okay, so we can now make an eight. And I believe this wins. Forerunners. Such a good card. Let's see. He's got five, six, eleven, um, sixteen, twenty one, twenty one toughness. And I have. 7-7 seven, seven is 14, and 9 is 25, uh, 23, plus 5 is 28. So, I think he lives at 1 if he blocks with everything. However, that is not a good board state for him afterwards. Okay. Yep. Nope. Incorrect. You still lose. Give him the good game. Right. Got that win. Pulling out the W. Looks like this strategy works. Pride mate. Alright, let's skip one and two again and then five. Seems like the best creatures are in three, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then obviously 10 being the uh, Convoke Worm. Wow, we're, to, we're playing a Teferi deck. Look at all this blue white mana. I will mimic you. I will not mimic you that way. I will put down a island and then I will get hit for one. And then I will get hit for three. This is fine. This is what happens in mid-range decks or high tier, like the high mana cost decks, the ramp ones, where you discard a card and then explores. Oh, that's cool. I will always get a land, so it's just a loot. But. Alright, now I got something that can block this, but not this. So I'm taking two a turn. Oh, he's getting so lucky. Why is he getting so lucky? Stop getting so lucky. Looks like my strategy is failing me. The strat. The strat. Crackles. Alright, well, we don't have to skip five. Because of crackles. We got a drop. Oh, we got a blocker. It's not going to do anything, because it's always going to be a full. Oh my god. Block. Alright, deck. Magic. What are you doing? Carnage Tyrant. Oh, the RNG. Oh my god. The amount of RNG this this guy has. Give me the Chaos Maw. It's not a Chaos Maw. 
I believe that I lose. Yep, Carnage Tyrant has trample. My strategy, it didn't work. Oh well, we got three wins. Grappling Sundew, weird. Hmm. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Momir. Come back next time for more gaming of some kind. I think I'm done with Momir for now. Um, it ends in 16 hours and I've been playing the last four. Yeah. And you see how many videos I uploaded that were actually decent, which were only two wins, three wins. All right. Well, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, come back for more. Check out my channel. We'll see you later. Bye.